Hello, it's Patrick. You're watching Tesla Trip, and welcome to some more Tesla news. Really excited about this version 9. <laughs> Tesla is revealing a lot more information about how the autopilot has been deployed in version 9, and it's like a lot more information. It's not just that they've activated all the cameras, but they've actually upgraded them to utilize the full resolution of the, the front-facing cameras and to use all the color channels of all the cameras. Uh, it's pretty cool. They're, they're saying that the amount of information that is being relayed to the neural net is about 100,000 times more than what they were doing in previous versions of the autopilot. So they're approaching, you know, what is the bottleneck of the hardware now, and that's why they, they're making this new hardware to put in cars that have full self-driving because this is probably the extent of what we'll see before we get the full self-driving which um, that drive on nav that I, I mentioned in the last video was not put in this current release of version 9 drive on nav is the first steps towards full self-driving that's where the car is paying attention to the navigation and taking turns and exit lane exits based on where the navigation is going so it's going to start out on freeways, where it'll go on exit from one freeway to another freeway without any user input. It'll um, pass people without you having to signal yourself. It'll automatically detect if somebody's slow in front of you and there's an opening on the left, and it'll go around them. Big news on the Model 3 front on a bunch of things. One, Elon just tweeted out, Model 3 drive system has been tested and validated for a million miles, and they showed a picture of it. And Elon was saying, this is what it looks like after a million miles. It looks brand spanking new. The gears don't look all shredded or torn up or worn down or anything like that. They still look brand spanking new. And this is something Tesla's been working on for a very long time. With the early Model S's that came out, they were having drive unit failures around like 50,000 miles or so. And they said that they were, you know, working really hard to get to the point where they wanted to make a million mile motor. And it looks like they have with the Model 3. And as far as I know, all the current like Model 3s and S's that have been coming off the line for the past couple of years, there hasn't been a lot of reports of people having them replaced. Over like 200,000, 300,000 miles on Model S's and X's now that are on their original motors. Model 3 has a milestone of over 100,000 deliveries here in the United States and Canada, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, I was down in Denver a couple weeks ago and I actually saw VINs that were over 100,000, even though this just hit the news a couple days ago. Apparently, they've, they've produced over 100,000 for quite a while, so I'd say it's over 100,000 delivered now. It's getting to be that time of year again where it's cold, the pressure sensors and the tires are growing off saying you need to add more air, and uh, time to look into getting some all-weather floor mats. Tesla finally has Model 3 all-weather floor mats that you can buy. Uh, they're, they're not terribly expensive. They're $145 for the full set for the front and the back, which um, compared to the... Model X ones, just the front ones were 150 bucks. Um, yeah, so all weather floor mats, yay! <laughs> it was also revealed that the Model 3 is the safest vehicle ever tested with the lowest probability of injury of any vehicle by the NHTSA, the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, I think. <laughs> I think that's what that acronym is. So they say that the Model 3 has a five-star rating and it's just as safe as any car with five-star rating. Tesla says, well, your math and all your numbers show that the scores on the tests are the highest ever of any vehicle. So they're saying Model 3 is the safest out of um, all vehicles with the Model S next and the Model X in third place. And Elon was saying if you rate by weight, it's probably flipped. So the Model X is probably the safest for how big it is and how heavy it is. And then the S and then the 3. It's funny, there's this, this, this little meme going around of the crash test dum dummy of a Model 3 wrecking into a wall, and it's been like, eh, what was that? <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't notice anything. And they're just kind of demonstrating how safe the Model 3 is. It takes a head-on collision very well, mainly due to the fact that there's nothing in the front of the vehicle. So it's just a huge crumple zone. And then the rigidity of the, the battery pack, and it's got the steel beams and the sides of it, uh, the high strength steel, it's a very, very safe vehicle. Speaking of keeping your car safe, Elon tweeted out in response to questions about features coming to the built-in dash cam. 
I haven't been able to use the dash cam yet because uh, I only got the update on my Model X, which is a hardware 2.0, and the dash cam only works on 2.5. Hopefully it'll work when you get the 3.0 hardware upgrade because I did buy the full self-driving. Uh, anyways, they're, they're talking about adding it to record when there's an ax you know, like an accident or vandalism and have it on while the car's off, which it doesn't do right now, and just adding a lot more features where it can do multiple cameras like from around the car, which would be very, very handy. Uh, last but not least, Republican from Wyoming, Senator Brasso, introduced the new bill to end the $7,500 federal tax credit, which, being from Wyoming, I do not support ending that. Um, our state's, you know, it gets a lot of its tax revenue from oil and gas, and it does not give any incentives for driving an electric vehicle. I, I think personally that, you know, fair is fair, you know, not only is this ending the $7,500 tax credit, but he wants to charge extra for um, use of the highways and roads. Right now, electric vehicles are so expensive, I pay more in taxes on like sales tax when I buy a new electric car than I would in gas sales tax that goes, or gas taxes that go to the roads and highway maintenance. That's not a huge deal. I think that they should tax tires, because then it would make more sense on how much you actually use the vehicles. Uh, I'm not sure how they regulate which state that goes to, if it'd have to be all federal and then divvied up or what. Um, let me know what your guys' ideas are. But yeah, I'm kind of bummed about the, that. And it's not gonna make a huge difference for Tesla because they are out. They, they're, they're being graduated from the $7,500 tax credit. They're going, it's going, they're going into the phase out mode um, to the next tier down next year. And if you're watching this video soon enough, today is maybe the last day to order um, and be guaranteed to get your vehicle delivered before uh, the end of the year so you can get that full $7,500. So, yeah, if you want to, you can use my code, <laughs> Patrick, um, blah, 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 down, down below. Use my Tesla code and you can get a uh, free $100 worth of supercharging credit on a Tesla Model S X or 3 now. So you don't have to get a performance Model 3, any 3, and you'll get a $100 charging credit, which is actually a lot. Uh, I took, we took some pretty big trips in uh, the Model 3, and it was less than like 40 bucks. 100, 100 bucks could last you like all year if you don't take any big trips. It's, it's not, not bad, nothing to sneeze at for entering a little code. Thank you guys uh, so much for watching and subscribing. And if you haven't, please subscribe and click the little notification bell so you know that um, I'm putting out videos. I try and do these about once a week, every Saturday, sun Sunday, Monday-ish weekend, <laughs> depending on the news, and uh, when I'm on trips and charging. I do live chats so that uh, I can have somebody to talk to while I'm waiting uh, at the charging station. Thank you guys so much. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Walking Crow, or you can email me, pat.lawson at wildwestev, and we'll see you guys next time. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see my breath. I'm in the garage. I'm in. I'm in the. I'm in the two smart guys studio, and you can see my breath because it's about 20 degrees in here right now. Um, yeah. So all weather floor mats. Yay. <laughs> Brr.